Remember how everyone went crazy over The Walking Dead? It was a video game, I mean. It was a huge success. It was everyone's game of the year. I cried over Clementine. That kind of crazy. Yeah, well, this is the same kind of game. It's the same genre, same approach, same developer, same results. I mean, in terms of the quality. I didn't cry this time. It's The Wolf Among Us for the PlayStation 3. Back off, asshole. <laughs> So in case you missed it, uh, this game was originally released episodically from late 2013 into 2014. What we're playing here is the retail version, which includes all five episodes on a single disc. And seriously, if you've never played The Wolf Among Us, I can't recommend this game enough. I mean, personally, like, you know, I'm not really into these big, elaborate stories in video games. That's not why I play video games. But this one, hey. man, this one had me captivated right from the start. In fact, as I was playing it, People from around the office were coming in just to watch, like just to watch the story unfold. I mean, it's the kind of game that it sucks you in and just doesn't let go. It's a fine way to make an entire day just disappear too. Basically, we get, we got nothing done today. Is what I'm saying. Now, of course, I've played this before. In fact, I even reviewed the first three episodes individually. So if you're interested in the game, definitely go back and watch those videos. They go into a lot more detail. Just be careful though, because I mean, it's kind of hard to talk about games like this, let alone show footage from them without kind of spoiling things. So, you know, if, if you're super sensitive about spoilers, trust me, that just don't don't even do it. Don't watch a single another review. Just, just go and buy the disc. If you like adventure games, you will love this game. I promise. Otherwise, you can huff and puff and blow my house down. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. And hey, speaking of which, he plays the Big Bad Wolf. I'm not kidding, the Big Bad Wolf. Same sicko who tried to eat Little Red Riding Hood. Only now, he's put the past behind him. In fact, so have his peers. Wolf Among Us takes place in a world where fairy tale characters have decided to move on, leaving their fantasy homeworld for the real world. A world that isn't exactly giants and beanstalks. And so now, the Fables, as they're known, are all living in the city, hiding their true identities through magical disguises called glamours that make them look human. I know, it all sounds very storybook, but the magic of the wolf among us is that it isn't really that magical at all. I mean, this is a story that, despite the origins of its characters, feels very real. And beneath its dark, seedy veneer and its fantasy cast, it tackles issues that are anything but a fantasy. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... Well, anyway, I, I don't want to get too much into the story, because the story is kind of the whole point of the game. But like I said, we have reviewed three of the episodes individually. You can watch those for a lot more details. But in terms of the gameplay, uh, I mean, again, it's very similar to The Walking Dead. It's half point-and-click adventure, half decision-making type thing. Come on, you guys know what I'm talking about. And in this game, your decisions really do matter. I mean, will you make the big bad wolf live up to his reputation, even at the cost of others' trust? Or will you show that beneath the fur and the claws, there's a decent human... whatever in there. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. This is, no joke, one of my favorite stories ever in a video game. And partly because it's all so incredibly well done, but partly because of the contrast it creates. I mean, you have an entire lifetime of expectations for these characters, so just putting them in this kind of world, it creates all these fascinating little moments. You know, mo moments that play on your expectations, as well as your inherent desire to see the faces behind so many of your childhood memories do the right thing. When they don't, it, it really hits you. I mean, this really is the perfect combination of tone, character, and storytelling. And part of the magic here is what you bring to the table. I mean, remember watching The Little Mermaid with your sister when you were a kid? Well, what if I told you this is what Ariel's doing now? So on top of all the other things it does well, the story's also it's kind of it's kind of about growing up, you know? I mean, not that everyone grows up to be a stripper, but it's like going back to the place where you grew up, where you had all these big dreams, 
and you find the houses are boarded up and the stores are closed. Like all the purity and the innocence and the optimism that you had as a kid. Well, one day you grow up and you find out that was the fairy tale. I need 150. It's not good to be short. Okay. Look, I, I don't want to sit here and say this is, oh, this is the best game ever, ever made. But it's hard to think of one that's more engrossing. Seriously, th this game grabs you. The intricacies of its story, the way its outstanding graphics and sound actually highlight the tone, and the weight that it gives to something as simple as just pushing a button or making a decision. I mean, I, I absolutely fell in love with this game. And I can't see anyone not doing the same. And I mean, I, I even have a magic mirror. It's the Wolf Among Us for the PlayStation 3. Come on, dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to- No, I'm D. He's dumb. <laughs>